So this time we're talking about what is scrub radius. I think a lot of people understand what scrub radius is, and if you do, then go ahead and click to the next one. But if you don't, you want to stick around and watch, <clears throat> understand what this term is, because it gets thrown out a lot. I hear people talk about it. It's fairly simple. All it really is, is the difference between your steering axis, which is the imaginary line that gets drawn from the top of your strut tower to the pivot point on your ball joint, your lower ball joint. Okay, so that imaginary line and the center of where the tire meets the ground. I drew this a little low here, so that's sort of a problem, but anyway. So the difference between this point here and this point. That measurement of distance is your scrub radius. Okay. Now, your scrub radius is usually increased whenever you run a lower offset wheel or if you run spacers on your wheel. Now, you can reduce scrub radius by running a longer control arm to get your wheel out further for clearance than uh, as an alternative running spacers or stuff like that. But basically, running a longer lower control arm is going to control scrub radius because you're going to move this lower point out and the strut's going to kind of tilt in. Your steering axis, this line here, is going to move in an outward direction. And if you counteract that with like say a higher offset wheel uh, or less spacer, then you reduce scrub radius. Car drives better. Um, what does scrub radius affect? Scrub radius mainly affects steering and front tire wear more than anything. Uh, steering, because of the fact that since you're moving your wheels out and you're increasing their scrub, the wheels, instead of wanting to turn on the axis, right, which is what they, most cars are generally designed to do that. You know, within the confines of their front suspension, they're made to turn on the steering axis. Most cars have a little bit of scrub radius, but it's fairly negligible. When you start doing things to try to add clearance for drifting, you tend to put spacers or the lower offset wheels on the car. This increases your scrub radius. So instead of doing this, your front wheels do this. I'm sure you've noticed it, like if you're on a car that has lots of negative camber, or not negative camber, negative offset in the front, that the wheels don't entirely just turn. They actually like rotate, and then the whole car wants to move along with it. Now your steering has to overcome all that extra force to make the wheels travel that far. So in tens, it actually can make your steering feel a little bit worse. It's harder to turn, and uh, your feedback is a lot notchier. You know, like you end up with uh, what should be small corrections don't end up being small corrections because of just the fact that of how much more kind of muscle you have to put in the wheel. You hit a pothole, you hit something in the road, and it kind of wants to jerk the wheel out of the out of your hands. It's partly the leverage that's caused by scrub radius. Now, scrub radius is essentially making your wheel go around an arc instead of pivoting in its spot. Now. Ways that you can reduce scrub radius, but still get clearance, mainly involve having a longer lower control arm. The longer your lower control arm, the more your strut will be inclined, which will increase your camber, uh, but your steering axis will basically pivot out because the ball joint, which is at the bottom, so say the knuckles here, or should I say right here, right? Since the, knuck, the, the ball joint, which is the bottom right here, is being moved out, this line, which is your steering axis, moves out as well. And if you counteract, or not counteract, but you include that along with, say, a more positive offset, so either getting rid of a spacer or running a little bit more positive offset wheel, you can reduce your scrub radius. That's one of the reasons why we recommend that if you want to have more clearance in the front end of the car, you do it by adding a longer lower control arm not by spacers. Now, I'm not saying spacers are a bad thing. Within reason, they help. Within reason, they can get you where you need to be. But, personally and officially, we like to put out that we want you to run a longer lower control arm over doing spacers in order to get the wheels where you want. Um, also, it makes sense to run a decently low offset wheel as well due to clearance issues and because I mean even with a really long lower control arm you're not going to be able to hit 
absolute, you know, crazy angles out of the front end. But you can do a lot better than running, say, a factory length control arm and a two inch spacer. Because a two inch spacer is going to give you some of the most gnarly scrub radius. The car's going to really fight you on it, it, trying to drive it. And you can still do it. It's just a little, it's a little, it's a little nuts. Well, anyway, that's essentially what scrub radius is. There's not really much more to it. Um, it's fairly concise. I want to do more videos like this. Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything suspension related that you'd like me to do like a quick review about. Um, that's something maybe you don't understand, just want to get it broken down. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Please like, subscribe, do that whole YouTube thing. You guys know what to do. Every every one of us, every person on YouTube says the exact same thing. I don't need to. I don't need to bore you. Anyway, bye for now.